Hey, what's up guys, Max here. So we are looking at a Paragon Classic Bundle. Okay, so we've been flooded with rank four materials left and right, whether it's content, whether it's offers, um, whether it's side events, which is part of the content. Um, and it's been really fun to like really multiply your amount of rank threes or rank fours you can get when it comes to your accounts. Now, I was just on a live stream where I was debating whether what direction I wanna take my strategy. Being a competitive gamer inside MCOC, you know, uh, there's a lot of focuses in a lot of different areas where this uh, uh, game can take you as if you wanna be a Alliance War competitive player, if you wanna be um, Battlegrounds now, or in Incursions, maybe that's something that's up in the rise, like an Incursions, professional player where you just push and push and get to know all the entire meta of that area of the game and just become very very good at it so um for, for the most part it's always been this prestige alliance quest and alliance war battle right it's always been one of the you know you're either red or blue you know what side are you on uh, and there's been alliances that have been been able to manage both. So with the addition of Battlegrounds, it's taken a new toll and the rewards are extremely amazing. When I talk about amazing, they are really good. And I think the focus, I'm not saying I'm not gonna be focusing on Prestige because I feel the update for Prestige is coming soon. Um, it hasn't been updated when it comes to rewards in such a long time. Alliance Ward just got recently updated, so they, the, you know, the red and blue, that that, that side of the gamer uh, community did get a nice little update. Now, was it big? Was it worth still pushing in Alliance War? I think that's where the debate lays that it, it wasn't that good. But they've been holding back all the rewards and they've dumped them all into Battlegrounds. And this is where we are at right now. Battlegrounds, cash offers, incursions, turn uh, pushes. Alliance Quest or Alliance War? Where do you want to be pushing inside this game? There is always going to be some kind of bundle, whether it's offer for units, whether it's offer for cash. We're always going to have that opportunity to maximize and increase our rosters to become a little bit more useful, a little better, give us a little edge on top of the competition. And this is what we're looking at today. So if you're Paragon, you're gonna be presented with this offer. It's called the Paragon Class Basic Bundle. So when looking at this offer, we're seeing a selector. We get one class selector. We're gonna be getting a good amount of fragments, which is 28,500, and another 28,500, or 22s, excuse me, on the T3s. Forming us a fully formed catalyst, at least at the standings where I'm at. And um, taking a look at where other possibilities might lie in the future, this is one bundle which we, um, as a community, just came off of a uh, Deadpool event, which tons of accounts are loaded with a bunch of units. Unfortunately, you know my situations. That's not the case for me. Um, regret it. Regret it. But here we are looking at trying to get these, or going to be getting these bundles and offers because it just allows me to be a little bit more competitive in the area of the game that I want to devote my attention to, and that is Battlegrounds. I know there's a lot of debate and talk about making Battlegrounds perfect. Keep in mind, it just got released at the end of this year of 2023. We just went through season one. We're going to be entering season two, and there's always going to be more tweaking, more involvement into Battlegrounds. Um, will the rewards get updated soon? I, I don't see that happening. They're just amazing. It's probably going to be a year or two, possibly maybe sooner before they get tweaked and worked on. But for now, the rewards are really good. And that is the focus of the game for me. Um, again, I, I am trying to get a slight little edge above the com competition, whether my next rank four champion allows me to get a victory and earn better rewards and get better points. That is the goal of what I'm trying to do. So I am gonna be picking up at least when it comes to units. Again, I'm gonna be grinding the uh, arenas anytime that I get. When I'm not live streaming, uh, I'm gonna be live streaming a lot of Battlegrounds in the next couple of days once it goes live, come here Monday. But when I'm not live streaming, I'm gonna be working my account just to bump up its units. I, I, I'm gonna be taking a bunch of units down at the moment. So if you can see, 5,500 units are gonna disappear. 
And unfortunately, we have to say bye to profile pictures at this moment because I just can't afford to get profile pictures. And if we look at my inventory here, we're going to see that we need a mutant. And there's two of these. So we're going to go and select that. And we're going to pick a second option here. And I think we're going to go with um, very interesting options. I think they're all very close to forming another catalyst besides mutant. So I think we're going to go with mutant again. So we're going to go both. It's not that I have mutants ready to rank up. It's that I, if you saw my other catalyst, they're very close to having that third and fourth um, catalyst as well. But yeah, we're going to be saying bye to profiles for a while until I decide to go and change my gameplay. Unless there's an amazing profile like that I just can't pass up like Mysterio with his hand coming out at you and trying to reach you. That one's really nice or spot as well. That one's super cool. But otherwise, yeah, guys, that is kind of like the direction of where I want to take my account. You know, that is the strategy that I'm doing to kind of like upgrade multiple rank fours, um, improve my account, become a little bit of a stronger, at least roster and be able to compete in possible incursions, uh, pushes in battlegrounds tournaments, um, just pushing in battlegrounds to help my alliance and my solo competitive score, and also prestige. You know, whether I take the direction that I want to start actually playing war, who knows? I don't want to take that as a like I'm not gonna do, but for now, it's definitely gonna still be alliance quests, battlegrounds, and a hint like a little trickle of incursions there here and there especially every month when it resets itself i think i will be playing them they do take quite a long time they take at least five to four i would say four to six hours as a push um taking your time learning the nodes once you start mastering and figuring out what is what you can probably cut that in half maybe a three hour you know zone 25 it's kind of a stream um but for now I wanted to present to you what I'm basically doing and why I'm picking up that offer that was launched today. And I mean, I went to my mutants because I chose mutant, um, whether I take another rank three to rank four, um, that is, I don't know if it's going to be a mutant champion, but these are my rank threes for now. And as you know, we have the cosmic situation, I'm sorry, the mystic situation in play right now. So we're still deciding on what I want to take to rank four. When it comes to my champions here but guys i appreciate you're watching the video hopefully this is helpful it opens up your your mind to ideas of what you want to pick up um and kind of where you want to strategize the items your resources your units um and in the events and and you know game modes that are coming out and presenting itself right now it's it's a lot of fun it's a lot of strategy it's ultimately i'll just i'll close it with this it's ultimately creating a new passion to learn new champions it's not just making it a i need to get that new champion because i think he's going to be good and never use him again it's more like let me figure out my current roster let me try to sneak in a new champion in there but at the same time become a better player and become and like the the passion and love for the game when it comes to battlegrounds it's actually uncovered a new i think uh hidden passion for a lot of the community a lot of the competitive community and a lot of just the non-competitive players to enjoy battlegrounds just for fun but guys let me know what you think in your comments um what are your thoughts between you know what you should be doing and what i just did and when it comes to my units again and uh i'll see you guys on the next video take care peace